Y. Today is September the 7th, open day, Kentucky deal season, and me and my dad just kind of get it done, and so my mom, and we have these few nice bucks showing up, and we're really trying to get one. So we got a, some beans right here that we printed last year. Then we had an encounter of a little eight point on way back there, but he just usually stayed out about 100 yards. So this year came out, ready to get it done. Put in a lot of effort. A lot of cameras went bad, and so we're just gonna try to get it done today. Got me some ranges. I can shoot up to 20 now, and hoping when this deal shows up, hope God. Uh, God's this LO to where it needs to be put at and that we can find it if we do shoot it and stay tuned stay in subscribe and see you when a deal pops out Alright, today is September the 9th, uh, and back out here again, same spot we hunted a few days ago, and mom's hunting the same spot she did, and got up here about 4 o'clock, got in here a little bit earlier. Yeah, we both, my mom and me and my dad both saw shooters, I had about a 150 inch deal come out, about 18 yards, ranged them. I want to see him. He 
turn white though. So we're going to be able to shoot them. Then there's another nice buck out there. So we're trying to get it done today. And hope the good Lord blesses us with another buck. Oh, this is a nice buck that uh, came in, I'll say, how far would you say, Dad? Dad, how far would you say? 15, 20 yards, jump the fence. Easy shot if you were turned like. He got looking back, I'm like, what's the matter? Who that was another deal. Two giant dogs. I'm tempted to just take my L and shoot both of them. He was a nice buck, dude. Nice nine pointer. He just kept looking back. I thought it was a bigger buck behind him. But, two stinking dogs. Who knows? Them dogs wasn't back here. Maybe them dogs scaled him to us. I don't know. But, that was a nice buck. Or at least we shot him. I'm pretty upset. Nice book. Well, I guess I'll catch you when there ain't no dogs and see ya. Alright, today's September the 21st, first day of fall. Me and my dad out. He's out here while my mom was hunting. And about every day we've had a few deer coming out. My sister and my mom is hunting in my sister's spot. Hope she gets one, and I'm up in a tree stand, uh, 12, 13 feet high, won't you say, Dad? Probably 14. Probably 14. So, I'm gonna hang tight. Got, got in here decently late. It's about, I will say, 5. So, I'm gonna hang tight and see what happens.
We got no footage, probably. We got no footage, probably, but we seen go down twice. Seen go down twice. I am not comfortable with that shot. I hit him high. He looked like. <sighs> I'm just. That's a good buck. I'm stoked. So. Hello guys, it's uh, September 21st, and I just shot a nice buck, and Dad couldn't see it in the viewfinder that good, so we don't got that good of a footage, but the shot was all right, we think, and he went 50 yards, fell over, we thought he was dead. Give him 15 seconds, he got back up and went another 50 yards, and... Then uh, we gave him 30 minutes and we uh, was climbing out of the stand and we saw him right at night. Mm. And he, Dad could see that it got up and he said it went about six feet and just set back down. And the deal's coughing, he's going, he's making some other noise, I don't know what it is. But, so we're gonna give him about to 10 o'clock, about 8.30 right now, so. We're going to go fill up the fetal that my sister's hunting over, and we'll catch you hopefully when we find the deal. It's uh, 10 o'clock at night. I'm sorry for the footage. The footage, the, the viewfinder on my camera was so dark, even though you could see the deer in the, in the actual video footage. The, the light was good. We were still 20 minutes away from the end of light, but I couldn't tell anything about my viewfinder, and I had it zoomed in and didn't know it. So you didn't even get to see the deer other than just a flash of green and him bolting off. I do apologize. Uh, you try to be a dad trying to film this and pretty exciting, but Bubba took the shot and uh, we seen the deer go down at about 50 yards. He then, get, after we started to quietly celebrate, as you may see in the video, the deer got back up and went another 100 yards or another 50 yards and laid down again. We sat there 30 minutes we couldn't see the light at night or nothing. But as I was climbing down about three steps down, I could see the green knock still, the arrow was still in him. But I could see it wiggling like he was breathing with this thing in him. Uh, the deer did appear to stand up or move positions maybe two or three yards to the left. And then it got still again. We eased down and got out of there. So uh, we've given it three hours since the shot. Uh, we're going to slip back here, and I'm going to try to get up on the stand, see if I can spot the green knot. If I can, see if it's not moving, and we're going to just uh, approach cautiously from this point. We don't know if we're going to track it tonight or not, but uh, if the knock's, if he's still laying there, we're going to try to keep easing up there to him and try, not, try to be sure he's dead before we just walk up to him. But anyway, this is a not an ideal situation, but if we don't see the knock, we might slip up there and just see if we can see him in case he's rolled over on it. If he's not there, we'll probably be back tomorrow to look for him. That, that won't be good, but I mean, the shot was quarter two, uh, but Bubba tucked it right in there. And, and like I said, I've never seen a deer go down twice within 100 yards that we could hear him coughing. So we're pretty sure that we got at least one lung. Uh, we just hope it is enough to put him down within three hours. So we're gonna go see, and if not, We'll probably be back first thing in the morning. All right, we, uh, you hear the neighbor's dogs barking. I'm sorry for that, but they say when in doubt, back out. Well, this is no doubt. I got in there and climbed a tree. I can still see the light at night. I can still see it moving. I don't know if it's possum chewing on him, a coyote chewing on him, but I, I really believe the deer's laying there in his bed probably licking his wounds is what it probably I had to figure so we're going back out come back in the morning and just pray that he's laying there where we left him he's laid there for three hours so we're going to try to slip back in here about seven in the morning that'll be 12 so right now we're going to get home get us a bite to eat and try to get some sleep it's about 6 40 in the morning the deer's had almost 12 hours we're gonna slip back in here once again and see if we can, uh, I'm gonna climb the stand and see if I can see the light at night because it's still not a lot of light and it's 
foggy. Maybe I can see the light and see he's down. If he's still there and moving, we're just going to, I mean, if he's still alive after 12 hours, then we're going to need to try to slip up there on him and put another arrow in him. Bo, you ready to do it? Yes, sir. Long sleepless night for me. He said he slept good, but not dead. He spent night with my grandparents. So. He, stayed, he stayed here at his grandparents. So. Let's head over and get him. I was waving at you. Alright, he's dead. Bubba. What do you think, Bubba? What do you think? That's awesome. <laughs> You're third buck, son. Anyway. What do you think, Bubba? That's pretty cool. <laughs> my dog buck. That was big. Did you kill, hey, did you kill my buck again? Yeah. <laughs> All we gotta do is name him Mama's buck and Bubba can kill him. We say that's Mama's buck. Then we turn Bubba loose in there, <laughs> Mama's buck gonna die. <laughs> I've been hunting this buck and you had to go kill him. That's all right, Bubba. I'll gladly give you my buck any day. Uh, you already have took that shot. No, I wouldn't have taken that shot, no, babe. Look, that's how far you drove it up in. Okay. Ugh, stinks. He got that much penetration in him. 32 pound draw. Heck of a quarter two shot. What are we? 100 yards from where oh. we shot him? Now the deer was still alive at three hours. We, we think we just got one long. Oh, that is a pretty buck. Thank you. I'm bucked out in Kentucky and I'm willing to do it with this buck. It's a nice buck. And so everyone else in my family's gonna try to get it done. So just hang tight and catch you on the next one.